again. LBS theories or theories. What on earth do you want to call it? Theories. That's my little catchphrase for LBS theories. And today we are talking about the movies. Yeah, we're talking about how movies are relevant to our lives. And we're going to be talking about what is better. Old movie or new movie? By that I mean the black and white types of movies. The King Kong Century movies. All of those type of things. The old classic Who movies. Those type of movies are the movies that we're going to be comparing to the modern day movies. The new explosion graphic movie. All these types of movies which may not come in handy now, but in the future will definitely come in handy. Anyway, let's get right into the theory. So today we're um, discussing now exactly what, so we're, we're going to start off with the old movies. Oh, but yeah, let's start, let's start off in date and time relevance like what came first we're going to start in chronological order so the first ever movie i don't know about so the first ever movie apparently had no speech in just acting just only acting that's one of the first movies obviously that had no speech nearly one of the only movies but it's comparing to another one every movie has to have dialogue without dialogue what are you doing like what are you doing what do you exactly want? So, the old movies had more of a story, but people just won't like them these days. They'll be like, well, why would you want to show me this rubbish? Why would you want to show me this stupidness? Well, in fact, I probably would want to show you the stupidness in your mind, because you don't even know what stupid means anymore. What do you... I mean, you, I mean, look, the people who made the movies, probably like the directors, are probably, are so, most of them are dead now, the ones that made the old movies of black and white. You had the um, horror made by Stephen King, like all these horror movies, oh, yeah, all these horror movies going in left, right, centre. Then you have some of these like old theatres. I mean, it seems like some of the old movies can be better than the new movies. I mean, think about it. You have uh, an old movie, then you compare it to a new movie. The old movie has, I mean, oh, no offence, but better actors these days. Because people have just been going over the top with the new modern day movies. All these, it's getting overwhelmed with all these graphics now that they're throwing in, like all these explosion effects all of these green screens when in actual fact the old movies had the actual settings and in the green screen you can sometimes tell when there's a green screen or when there's a green screen or when there's not you can that they, they've made a little error where you can see the shadow of the actor or the little outline of the actor with the green screen and most of you don't know about that's one thing you could pick up on with the older movies would you rather yeah they could be in black and white and have no colour at all and you just have perfect acting or you can just have it taken over with all the effects and the story I'm not actually focusing on the acting and task so that's one point to the old movies because in the newer movies people have been paying more attention to the graphics and I've been picking out all the actors off. I know this guy, he starred in this. You're not meant to be looking about that. You're meant to be focusing on the movie. Why do you think they've been made? <laughs> Why do you think they've been made? Why do you think the movies have been made? You're not meant to be focusing on the actors. You're meant to be focusing on the storyline. If, 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 if the actors are good, then yeah, give a point to them. Yeah, that's good in order to give a point to the good actors, of course. But give it... You're not focusing on the movie. 
they might be saying a really important line to help you out in the story and then you're like eh, yeah go on go on give it give it all your best There's always, if you're watching it in a theatre, there'll always be that one person who is just pinpointing the actors. You can hear them whispering to the person next to you, or no, you, you, you can hear them whispering to the person next to them and be going like, I know that guy. And then you're just like, There's a movie on, and then the, and, 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 and then the whole cinema starts chatting. No, um, but that's one point to the old. The, the, that's another point to the old movies, making it two. Because in the old movies, you didn't really care. You more cared about what's going on, and they're more scary. If you find out, look at the more scary movies, right? Think about the, the, the more scary movies in the in the modern day. The scary movies in the modern day have all these new effects. It's, it's, it's a game with effects. Yeah, I give it up to them for creating these brilliant effects. But, yeah, it makes it scary making all these new things going on where you're like, <sighs> Yeah, they, they do do tons of scary things. Some in Doctor Who can be scary, not all the time. Doctor Who is not a scary show. Some of them can be, but not all the time. But some of these are the scary movies, which I'm not going to pinpoint because I can't remember them all. But they can be scary. And in the old days, in back in the day when you're making all these new movie, when you're making all these new things with films, you're like, <laughs> you're, 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 you're so scared because sometimes something's going up on the screen or the scary face comes up on the screen because the things that, the things that you've seen less scary back in your time and you look back at them, they're actually pretty scary. They are actually pretty scary. If you watch one of those scary movies in the olden days, you'll be like, that is scary because it seems like the older movies are scarier than the newer movies because you just expect there to be a jump scare because it's been, it's been going on for so long but some jump scares can you cannot expect I mean there yeah you can be like oh there's something creepy about this and suddenly it just jumps out at you when you least expect it so that's another point to the older movies ah. right now we're going on to the science fiction aspect of things. This is where the old movies can crumble. Because the TV shows back in their day. Let me just look at the. Because the TV shows back in their day weren't as good with the science fiction. The, they, they were good for what they had at the time. But it is pretty. I mean, think about Doctor Who, right? Doctor Who's been going for years, yes, 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 we all know that, since 1963. But in some of them, you can see it is fake, with the flying saucer going through the sky. And then you're like, well, yeah, that's fake. And now in the newer movies, it looks so realistic, I actually believed it one time. I'm not joking, it's a true story. I believed that there was flying saucers, or flying UFOs, because I was watching Doctor Who and things like that. And then I realised, oh, it's just a fake. But that's one point to the newer modern day movies. There you go, you're catching up with the old movies, which have three points. There's only two points difference now. Because the old, because think about it, you can tell that there's a difference. And the Daleks had people inside going, <laughs> walking through. Because they, they didn't have much to work with. And this was during season four. I think about it, this can be... Season 4 Doctor Who, Classic Who, it went away for quite a while and then came back. We all know this story. But yeah, that came back. 
and it came back great. They had better quality effects with the new modern days of TV shows. The TV shows have definitely improved, like news broadcasts. Another point to the modern day. They didn't have much to work with in the old, in the old days, but nowadays they have more to work with with news broadcasts. We're g but the movie aspect, with the, with the feel, that's going old movies all the way. I mean, the King Kong... Ooh, that was creepy. If you watched the King Kong in 1933, he grinned like anything. Hey, it creeped the heck out of me. Oh, I'm seeing it in my brain now. Ooh. The King Kong was creepy as heck back in the day. Wow. Wow. Ah. Alright. It's five points to get them all in. So there's two points to the modern day and three points to the, to the old time. So there's one point difference now. Now we're going to move on to the more... Let's just say kid-friendly shows. So... Like CBBC... BBC, no, CBBC and BBC... BBC... BBC and things like that. CBBC, that's what it is. And uh, those kid-friendly shows, they didn't have them much. They, they didn't have much to work with back in the day. They, I, 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 I'm not quite sure about this. Do not shot fire at me if I'm wrong. But I don't think they even had a kid-friendly show properly. Like a kid-friendly channel in the olden days. They didn't, they didn't have Sky. They didn't have Sky in 1962. They had to have these massive huge aerials that reach out to show everybody what's going on. And that is what actually sparked the idea of kid friendly shows because kids weren't allowed to even watch things like that. They like watching things like that. What? What? Watching things like that? Watching things like the creepy King Kong face? Nah. Nah. So what did they create in 2000 and... F well, I know, I, I, I know it was... I'm going off by what I remember when I was a baby, 2003. And uh, they created CBeebies. Mm. No, CBeebies. And um, that time, and that type of stuff came in kids started to watch it, they were like, yay, we like it, not knowing what was going on behind that creepy King Kong face back in the day, and things like that, I mean, your parents were around to see the creepy King Kong face, probably, and uh, things like that, <laughs> and things like that going on, so that was just one side of the movies. Now, that gives another point to the movie. So it's a draw at the moment. There's two more slots to figure out. Now, what are we going to do with these, eh? What are we going to do with these new slots that's going on? We're going to go to animation. That's a boom straight off. That is a boom straight off for the Monday. What did they have? In, nine, in, in the 1900s. You answer that. You answer what they had in the 1900s. You don't know? Of course they had nothing for animation. The only thing they probably had was little toy play figures. And even they weren't good. I mean, what was going on? What was going on with them? They didn't have the ideas for the technology that they had created. But what did they have? I mean, it would have been the same. They're finding the same materials, the same everything. But where's all what you want to now this is another tick for the modern days. So the modern days are winning are winning right now. The modern days are winning. But the old days do have some aspects to them. So the the modern days are winning, but the the old days do have some aspects. There's one more 
one more left. And that is... Wait for it. What is this drum roll? It doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even make sense. Wait for it. Internet movies. Oh wait, not internet movies. What are you on about? Get out of my sight, internet movies, wherever you are. No! I don't even know. Aha! Got it. What do you think it is, eh? <laughs> the news! The news! I mentioned it on a previous, you know, um, I mentioned it on a previous type of uh, part for the old section, the news, yes, 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 the news. But I personally think it's a straight off tick for the old, which makes it a draw again. I think it's a straight off tick for the old, but if you're just forgetting one more thing, the news always updates. Yeah, you didn't, you, you, you didn't see that obvious answer coming. It always updates throughout the years. Nothing changes. Yeah, it was black and white to colour. Yeah, there was more pop-ups on the screen and a better effect for the news. And it intro. And like you're like BBC News, BBC News. But BBC News has been running has been running for years. BBC News has been doing tons of things. What do you expect, eh? Oh, what do you expect? The Queen got her, you know, the Queen became the Queen, that was on the news. One of the biggest events, the news has different events. You don't know what's going on. So that just brings it to the, a draw. It brings it to a draw. Half goes to the old, half goes to the new, we don't know. So that brings it to, the, to a draw. Old movies, I mean, this was mainly about films and news and everything like that is technically a film. Animation is a film, things like that. If, if, if there's anything I've missed, leave it in the comments and I'll make a part two. If you, if you want me to make a part two, let me know. I'll make a part two to the gaming if you want. I'll make a part two to the movies. But then there's another one coming, which you haven't yet seen. And which you will see when the next episode of LBS Theories comes. So, if you, if you like this transition from gaming to movies, which is different types of things, then hit that like button, not sure to the series. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Subscribe if you haven't yet. I'll also show you guys some more. Share the video. Favorite the video. Favorite the video. And bye bye for now. Boy.